I'm Paul Mobs, welcome to my video channel. To explain what it is I do, I thought I'd do a jump cut collage of my videos in 2021, to explain why you might like to subscribe to and follow my work. Over three decades I've been an activist, researcher and writer. Before that, from my youth, I'd rambled the countryside around my hometown of Banbury. When I became an activist, I carried that attitude into the way I tackled issues, and that led to people calling me the rambling activist, and the label stuck. When setting up my channel, Rambling Activist seemed to be the natural name for it. I've been making videos and animations since the late 1980s. Around 2001 I stopped, and only seriously took up the camera again in 2017. My particular style is to show the world as I see it, through my eyes. Of course for that reason, unless you catch my reflection, the one thing you won't see in these videos is me. The content of my YouTube channel illustrates my work extending the content of my online blogs. The videos are not a rambling commentary on the world, each is a deliberately researched and crafted observation on the nature of the world we live in. I have four main blogs, each concentrating on a different aspect of what it is I do. The meta blog is my technical, work-related blog. Here I produce videos on current eco-issues, highlighting the stuff that tends not to make it into the legacy media. It's hard, and it's heavy but it's what people need to focus on to make sense of the world around them. At the end of 2020 I started two new blogs, based on the educational work I've done for many years. Both are really the same idea, told from a completely different perspective. At first, an anarchist cookbook appears to be a blog about food and cooking. In fact, its focus is on liberating ourselves from the unsustainable and exploitative modern food system by learning how to cook really good food using simple ingredients as simply as possible. Food is the basis of our society. Early anarchists knew this, though more modern anarchists seem to have overlooked the issue. The blog makes the critical link between having agency in our lives and the role of good food in that process. The counterpoint to that is long walks of anarcho-primitivism. If the cookbook is a soft-centred argument, this is the hard-baked one. In the blog, I look at how our relationship to land rights and the exploitation of the land and living creatures are critical to understanding the exploitation of one human by another. In turn, that exploitation is what created the ecological crisis. We cannot solve one without solving the other. As the title implies, the blog gives a view of the world inspired by anarcho-primitivist ideas, and in particular, primitivism's critical view of how humans have been trapped into unfulfilling lives by modern technology. The last of the four blogs is the one which has been running the longest, the Bambashir Rambles photo journal. It started a decade ago as a challenge, my claim that you did not need to travel 50 or 100 miles from Banbury to find beautiful countryside, and that, in fact, Banbury is at the heart of its own geographically unique landscape. In 2021, I regularly began making videos to the Bambashir Rambles blog, to illustrate, with moving rather than still pictures, some of the wonderful sights it's possible to find in this ancient local landscape. So what do I have planned for the future? Each of my blogs has a special project which, lockdowns permitting, I hope to slowly unravel part by part over the coming months. On the meta blog, I have a multi-part series planned on the energy crisis, and the book I wrote in 2005 that, 17 years on, foretold certain aspects of it rather well. We're living in a time where the ecological crisis is beginning to seriously affect human society. Unfortunately, the mainstream of politics and the media can't accept that reality. It's just too unsettling for them to contemplate. That's what these news videos will explore, using the energy crisis as an example. On the Anarchist Cookbook, I have a serious plan that will look at the most basic skills of simple cooking, entitled Bread, Soup and Pie. The explanation is all in the title. For all the uncertainties of our future, I truly believe that if we can secure our daily need for food, then everything else is negotiable. On long walks of anarcho-primitivism, I have a number of videos mapped out to explore the history of land rights in Britain, and how this lets us view the way Britain works today, and so how we might change that. If there is a long-term solution to today's uncertain outlook, then it lies with creating a new relationship to the land. And lastly, I have no idea where I'll go in Banbyshire Rambles yet, but it will continue to show the beauty that is to be found in this area if you get out of vehicles and explore the landscape on foot. As I always conclude, it would really help promote this work if you could follow, subscribe, comment and like my social media presence, which can be accessed from the links on my website. In today's digital analytics popularity contest, 
all that button pressing means something in this messed up world. With your help, I hope we can create a world where such absurd notions no longer apply.